Good girl. Good girl. Oh. <laughs> James, what a huge slope. So, what have we got? Salami and cheese, yes. Salami and cheese. Salami and more cheese. Yep. More salami. No, that's a spicy deli platter. I've seen some pickles. We've got the pickles. Oh, is, like, no, you don't need that. Is that just from before? Some and then, oh, that's we've got it. some milk, we've got some bottle Oh, we've got some wine, but it's in front. Oh, What's this for? Not that bad. If there are some intruders. Yeah, that's my daughter. It's not really going to cause much damage, is it? It's like foam. Yeah, no, because it's not for that. Just come and get in and stop fanning around. So slow. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell, you just took door off hinges. But it's, it, it's on. Right, you need to get those light things, James. <laughs> Somebody told Right, listen, listen. Somebody's. We're watching the Bohemian Rhapsody film. We've just yes. put it on, and then somebody said on one of his last videos, "Oh, Helen's got a nice voice." So now you're singing, aren't you? You've got all that confidence you're showing. I don't off. know you're filming. You do. I've got a thing here. <laughs> Good morning. We are in Weatherby. Lovely Weatherby. Uh, just a bit of an impromptu thing. The weather forecast's terrible, so we'll just see what happens. We know it's market day. We stayed Yay. at a pub. It was lovely, that pub we stayed at last night. It the, was. The windmill, and it was yes. in a place called Linton. And we met a gorgeous dog, didn't we, called... Lulu. Lulu. And the people were really, really friendly. So, first win of the day is this car park. What's it called? The Wilderness Car Park, I think. And it's free. How good's that? That's a win. And then the second win is, look at this lovely bridge here. Oh, it's a bit nippy. It's nippy, isn't it, darling? So this is a Grade 2 listed bridge. Oh, there's some sort of wheel or something in the background. Oh, look at the ducks. Hello, ducks. Morning, ducks. Do you want some interesting facts about Weatherby? Yes, please. Why well, ain't got any? All I know about Weatherby is that bridge that we've just looked at was built by the Knights Templar and Weatherby was formed or set up or started in about 1240 and in the 18th and 19th centuries it was a coaching town so for weary travellers between London and Edinburgh they'd stop off in Weatherby where they'd go to the Weatherby Whaler for fish and chips which is the original <laughs> what? which is the original Weatherby Whaler and after the this time last week we had the gravy See, somebody's come with bread now, not ducks are buggering off. So after last week's gravy debacle, I want proper fish and chips. So a lot of you around this area will know, around sort of West Yorkshire, I think it is. They're making an eight racket. Uh, the Weatherby Whaler is quite a famous chain of fish and chip shops. And as the name suggests, Weatherby Whaler, this is the original one. So we're going to go to the, look at that. I think it was set up in 1980s. So the bit I said about the travellers in 18th and 19th century is not actually true. Oh, there's a weir there. Weir? Over <laughs> there. <laughs> it's a nice bridge. It's a nice bridge. As bridges go. As far as bridges go, it's a nice bridge. The fish ladder opposite. Where's... So that bridge, it was built in 1235? No. 1221, where do you get 12th? All oh, right, the original, right, I see. The original still remains. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? It's a nice bridge. Oh, look, there's a swan. It's all the happening. The fish ladder. 
I want to see the fish ladder. What is a fish ladder? I don't know. You wouldn't think that fish could climb up ladders, would you? How's is that it? Work? What? Where? What? I'll have to look that up, what a fish ladder is. I wonder if it's that thing over there. Oh, there's something here. Oh, that's a sculpture. Oh, look, yeah. It's for the trout or... No, it's for the salmon, isn't it? They, they swim upstream, don't they, to spawn. Oh, and that one... So that's a fish ladder, is it? Right, shall we go up into the town? Yes. How much <laughs> did the pirate pay for his earrings? A buccaneer. Eh? <laughs> and another one for you. Uh, I can't wait to see that new film, Constipated. It's not come out yet. <laughs> I know. They're not my jokes. They were on a, a WhatsApp group. A lollipop stick. <laughs> and my mate sends them and they're terrible, but I like to share them with you. I've heard them, so you've got to. <laughs> Ooh, it's market day today. That's exciting. There's a lot of charity shops. Yes. That's exciting for Helen. Oh, look, there, there's one there is one there. But I need to get, like, a coffee or something first. We can look at that one later yeah, on can... the way back. Helen, you can go in as many charity shops today I as you I want. <laughs> eh? that's, that's... I don't need your permission. That's the kind of guy I am. I just, I'm just so happy to have you here. Yeah, in I'm my happy presence. to have a day off work. It's so she's great. got a day off work. We couldn't come too far, so hence... Right, and I'm making the most of it. Look at that dress in the window. We just bumped into uh, a couple of subscribers or viewers. Uh, hello, it was Damien and David, wasn't it? Yeah. And they were hilarious. Yeah, they were right but characters. But he didn't want to be on. And he said that we looked a lot slimmer in real yeah, life. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. He said, <laughs> he said that. God, you look slimmer. But that's true, you see. The camera puts pounds on you. In my yeah. case, it puts stones on you. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go and get a coffee, but there's the market up here. So have a look at the market yes. quick. We need to go to an independent. Yeah, we, we'll go to Independence. And uh, I told him we're going to go to Weatherby Whaler for his dinner, and he's like, oh, don't go there. And I said, well, it's a bit late now. Set it all up. Now, I used to be a market trader, as I've said before, and it were days like this you used to hate because the forecast was for rain. Hello there. Hi. Enjoy your video. Oh, thank oh, you. Okay. I'm filming, is that all right? What's well, your name? Lawrence. Lawrence, good to meet you, mate. I've retired just in time to catch you out and about. You have? While I'm doing hook and all. <laughs> We've just... Except buy food. <laughs> buy, well, that's what we're going to do now. Gosh, we've seen a few viewers, haven't we, already? Yeah. Oh my goodness, I have never, oh quick, oh. I've never seen so many charity shops. I know, and well that's one of the reasons I wanted oh my goodness. to bring you here because... Give over. I did. <laughs> right, let's have a look at market stores. Oh, that's dog. all like stuff for your dog, isn't it? Yeah. Oh God, what are they? Oh. I don't, like I don't even want to know what some of that stuff <laughs> yeah. is. Baby shower! Cheers! Yeah, cheers! Oh, look at that. That's <laughs> great! <laughs> oh, I'll Make, go get some. It? I'll go get they some. Make mine a baby shower. Are, are they originals? Oh, the oh, they're fantastic, aren't oh. they? Yeah. I was a racehorse trainer. Was you? Yeah, 20 oh, years. And you're from Weatherby then? Uh, I was born in Harrogate, lived in London. Right. Records. All right. For a lot of years. Wow. Yes, and then I came back to Yorkshire in my 20s to have five children. Right. Two shops, and then at 41, I was still feeding my youngest daughter, Calypso. But my dad said, I want you to feed and train resources for me. So 20 years we did that. Wow. We've just come back, well, six weeks ago, I took her to Gozo. Have you ever been there? Never heard of it, where is that? With that. With my fancy so rustic. Camera. Is it? I love it. Oh my God. You get on the, go to Valletta in Malta, get yeah. on the boat and go across ten. To 10 minutes to this Gozo Island, Island of Gozo. It's Sounds rustic. good. You love it. We'll have to look it up. You've got to go. Thank you. Lovely, Lovely to meet you, Gigi. Gigi. Yeah, bye bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. 
She was a lovely lady. She was. She was interesting. Very interesting. She was yeah. a, a, a character, wasn't she? Yes. Look at this fishmongers. <gasps> oh gosh. Oh wow. That's fantastic. That's beautiful. Can you hear that music? I wonder what that is. <laughs> Hello. Hello. You got attacked by a little puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and see where this music's coming from. <laughs> He's that groupie. Eh? This front was erected by public subscription to commemorate the coronation of King George V, June 1911. Now, there's a coffee shop there. Well, there's one behind, so we'll have a look down this one. I just need a drink or something. Yes. Maybe a scone. Because now that that man's told me that I don't look as big, I look, well, he said I look a lot slimmer off camera, so that means I can have a score. My croissants come. I think it looks better from the, the other side. Dear. That looks good, doesn't it, Helen? And it Helen's does. ordered. Helen's ordered a scone. A scone. Scone. I call it a scone. <laughs> yeah, this looks amazing. So, what flavour is that? Rhubarb and. Rhubarb and apricot. But they do other flavours blackberry and apple and plum and pear. You've got a black Americano. We've, we're starting with the. Uh, on. You can't go back to savoury when you've had sweet. No. <laughs> that is so nice. That ham is lovely. They have not scrimped on the filling. It is up there, isn't it? It's, I don't like too much cream. I do. Go. So, what do you think about that then? That's going to ruffle a few feathers. That is gorgeous. Is it good? Right. It's, it just tastes like fresh and homemade oh, right. and amazing. I'm going to tuck into mine now. I can't recommend that place high enough. No. So if you're in Weatherby, you need to go. It is lovely. They're not, we're not getting paid for that, by the way. No, we actually, I actually paid. I've told Helen she can go in the uh, charity shops and I'm going to go across to that <laughs> pub there and wait for her. <laughs> I want to kill him. I hope when we do this, whenever I'm like, oh yeah, we're going to some charity shops, then when I've been in one for about five minutes, I start thinking, Well, are oh, you dear. all charity shopped out? Oh, when I, when I did antiques, I used to go in a lot of char charity shops, you know, try and pick things up. Yes. And uh, I've done so many over the years. Shall we start at, down there on left? They want cancer research. Yes, and then there's that I mean, Martin there's, House. Yeah. There's one on left down here. Mind. Though. There's millions of them. Oh, this, it, will that be at Pickering? Yeah, we'll have been, been to every one of them, won't we? Probably. Yeah. Scarborough. I don't wear high heels anymore. Don't you? No. Because I can't, because we walk that far. Look, I can't even walk in a walk. I've only been waiting half an hour for Helen in a charity shop. Sorry. She tried absolutely everything on. <laughs> We're just outside the estate agents. Helen's seen a house she fancies. Yes, at, uh, the terrace at Boston Spa. It's only two mil. Two million. Six I think. Yeah, bedrooms, we'll, uh, five bathrooms and a swimming pool. We'll save up for that. That guy we were talking to earlier, what was he called again? David. Damien. Damien. Was it Damien or David? Damien. Well, he said he lived in Boston Spa and I said, is it, is it posh? He says, God, yeah, they put the Pilates pants on to answer the door. <laughs> Helen, you know when I said you could have as long as you want in charity shops? Yeah. You didn't mean it. I'm regretting that idea. So I bought a dress. Oh, hang on. From Cancer that... Research. How much was it? 
and it's a whistles one and I actually tried it on in the shop because there was no changing room it was over this dress and everyone was watching me and it was £12.95 but I rounded it up to £13 oh you're one of them aren't you yeah it's nice That's, that would have been expensive and it looks nice I'm and it's, it's for the winter I'm very happy for you Thanks. now let's go to the pub Look at this. Hey, there was yeah, an Appleton's stopped. Butchers in Nairsborough. She stopped. I'm going to get it pulled whether it kills me. There was an Appleton's Butchers in Nairsborough. Was there? Yeah. Oh, smell that. What pub? No, <laughs> no that <laughs> butcher's next door. It's, it's one of them pubs that's uh, it's all food and everything. So it's a really old pub but they've all jazzed it up. I don't like that. It's not got any soul, has it? Anyway, cheers. It's had its soul ripped out. It has. Cheers. So, for our pre-fish and chip aperitif, Helen's got the usual Guinness. And I've got this, I've not seen this before. It's a Timothy Taylor Hoppical Storm. And that's a pale. And, uh, you can unleash a tropical cyclone of refreshment with this triple hopped pale ale topped with flavours of mandarin, mango and passion fruit. It's well balanced and deliciously smooth. Wow. I've just read that. So it's quite nice actually. Are you getting commission? No. What's your thoughts on that? <laughs> it's okay. Is that your verdict? That's my verdict. I think you can naff off back to the charity shops. Non-discreet. What, naff off? Yeah. Leave me here with beer. Right, we're out the pub. Uh, yeah. The market seemed to be packing up earlier, but it's been a bad day for them. It's, uh, it's a tough job, market. It's a great job as well in summer, but in winter time, it's... Look it's at tough. these lovely flowers. It's lovely down here. There's lots of nice hanging baskets around. There's a church ahead. I don't know if much is going on there, but we like to go and have a look in the church, don't Bookshop, we? Bookshop, cheese shop. Please follow us on Facebook, By The Curve, because I put lots of stuff on that and I'm really trying to build that Facebook page up. And I've put what people's opinions at Weatherby Whaler. And it's sort of mixed reviews. And then I was just chatting to a few people in pub there, at bar staff and that. And I said, oh, we're going to Weatherby Whaler. And they're like, oh, no, don't go there, go to the Frying Pan, which is obviously another local chip shop. It's a lot better, they said. But for the purpose of this video, obviously, we're doing it at Weatherby Whaler. But we'll be impartial and we'll give an honest review, won't we, darling? Yes, we will. So we've just had a, a meeting in pub, uh, like a think tank. Uh, and it's like an open forum, really. Brainstorming, thought shower, whatever you Blue want to call thinking. it. We've done all that sort of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and we've been looking at stuff because Weatherby's are, it's lovely, really nice, isn't it? But it's a, mm. it's a small place. This church is short, I'm telling you. So we've had us brainstorming. Try this door up here. And uh, we've realised that the Bingley Arms is not too far away, it's about four miles. And it's one of the oldest pubs in the UK. Or in Britain. Right, well, we're not going around church. Let me in. I want to pray. <laughs> so we're not going to church. That will please some of you. That will what? Please some people. We like to go oh, to church, don't we, though? Look, that looks like a secret garden. It does, and that is, you know quite moody, isn't it? I like it. I wonder what's over there. I want to go through that door. We always seem to time it right with the church bells, don't we? I think they do it, oh. Three o'clock, fish and chip time. There's a meeting, oh, there's a service. 
There's a service in no, there. No, it's uh, Yorkshire Voices. It's a meeting. It's a woman. She's doing a flower arranging demonstration. Cook, we... just have a peek. I don't. Go on. I dare. We're back in the room. Got distracted then. We had a bit of a disagreement. We never fall out, me and Alan. But there's, uh, I think it's Women's Institute. And well, do... there's a group. And they're doing flower. a flower arranging thing and Helen wants to go in. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm putting my foot down there. <laughs> I'll do a couple more charity shops. I'm not going in a flower arranging demonstration and sitting there with a lot of lovely old ladies. I'm sorry. <laughs> they love you. They love me. Wouldn't they? Your housewife's favourite. <laughs> the housewife's choice. <laughs> the granny's favourite. <laughs> you're, you're the old man's favourite. <laughs> like loads of people, Helen gets all nice comments and I get all crap ones. And don't, don't I? I get all the bills, I never get sent. I do. I get a bit. Do you know what I get all the time? What? Ooh, you're punching. Oh, you know. And, you know. I love you. Us men have feelings too. They do. So when people are telling you all the time you're punching. Well, they might think get, that about me. It gets you down. I think, <coughs> I think it, it, that's what blokes talk like to pay one another compliments, isn't it? They'll say, yeah. you're punching, mate. Of it, so they're paying me a compliment, but they're putting you down. Yeah, blokes are, are always like that. Yeah, they're always having a dig, aren't they? They call it bants, don't bants. they? Bants. I'll tell you what, you never have to weigh yourself out like that, because when you go to the pub, all your mates will, they all know your weight. They'll always tell you when you put a bit of weight on. <laughs> they do. They say, Still you're there. pregnant. <laughs> do they really? Yeah. It's a bit rude, isn't it? There's a dog's trust here. Do you want to go to Dog's Trust? And there's a Vincent, St Vincent one as well. And there's Oxfam across the road, but I don't oh, really gosh. like Oxfam, they're a right rip-off. You don't need to go to the gym, you just come here. Dog's Trust have a workout. <laughs> How much? 20 quid? Yeah. That's not bad, is they're it? They're all right, those, yeah. I have made a purchase. Another purchase? Yes. Two purchases now. This is a Hobbs. Italian calf leather handbag. And how much did you pay for that? 26 quid. 26 quid. Even quid. though that sounds a lot, but it's not. They saw you coming, didn't they? Yeah. She's done all the charity shops. She's got two purchases. I've made two purchases in there as well. I bought two little books. Uh, I bought a book on uh, strategic thinking for the next time we have our think tank when we're discussing... A book what, on strategic what, what, thinking. I don't know why. <laughs> I just, you know, it was in the business section, strategic <laughs> thinking. And then I bought another book, which was called 500 Words You Should Know. I quite like words. Oh, so, 500? Is that all? And it's just like fancy words. So, like what? Well, I don't know, I'm not ready. But you do realise in the next coming vlogs, I'll be coming out with big words, and you'll be like, oh, bloody hell, he's been reading that book. Right, anyway. It's time, the time you've been waiting for, and the time that my tummy's been waiting for. It's Weatherby Whaler time. We're going to go in. It's fish we're gonna, and chips. We're going to play it cool. We're going to go in undercover. Then we're going to have fish and chips, and we will do a proper review. Oh, I got a whiff of fish and chips then, Alan. I'm excited. I mean, obviously, I want them to be lovely. I really want them to be nice. Right, let's go in. Do we go straight up? Oh. My knee's playing up. I don't know what I've done, I've twisted it. Because I've been stood up that long waiting for her. Oh, oh, oh look, smell. come and look at this before you go I've in. I've seen it, love. It's a, it's a map. Yeah. Hello, table for two, please. Right, we're here. It's it's very early actually, so we should get served pretty quick. The oh, it's the cutlery mocky. A bear. Uh, it's it's a nice vibe, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite nicely decorated, isn't it? I'm gonna try a chip. 
chip on its own. They're a bit pasty chips, I've got to say. How are the peas? They're all right. Do you want to try my curry? Yeah. Mmm, that's nice. Right, I'm going to break a bit of fish off now for you to have a look at. There's none in. It is headache. That looks nice, doesn't it? Is that focusing all right on that? It is, I think. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do if it wasn't. This is headache. Our reviews are the most unprofessional. It's all right. <gasps> oh. It's like I said on Facebook, fair to middling. So, how does it compare to Whitby's the other day? Not a patch on Whitby's. Oh, really? These needed to be done a bit longer. Mmm. The curry sauce is probably the best bit. That's Chinese curry. The batter's nice. I think it's perfectly nice. Well, I want your honest opinion. That's what we're after. Have you finished, darling? Yes, I have. You've left some chips. I know, I'm, I'm full now. See, greedy me would have pinched your chips, but I'm not going to now. I've, I've eaten on my own. And I've, I've eaten, eaten all the peas. I've eaten all my curry sauce. That what? tartar sauce was rubbish. It was out of a jar. It, it was, was processed. It sachets or something. It was really bad. I'm not going to give a verdict here because the ladies are stood right more or less at the side of us and that would be bad taste. So we're going to go outside and do the verdict and then we're going to a pub again. <laughs> Tell you what, my knee, my knee's hurting. Oh, does it? Yeah. Do you want a tablet? No, I'm going to style it out. My hip I'd... hurts as well. It, oh. it always does. Well, do you, can't I just have a bit of pain without you trying to tell me top me all the time? Eh? <laughs> Let me have a bit of yeah, sympathy. Yeah, I just, I never talk about oh. it. It's because we're getting on now. It is. We're comparing ailments. Yeah, it's like the joints are all becoming knackered. <laughs> We're going to cross this road here. Oh, there's a nice statue I'm going to film. We're going to cross road and then we'll do a proper review of the Weatherby Whale at Fishingen and Chippenham. Oh, bloody vans now. Shopping hell. I'm trying to do my B-roll and vans keep going past. So before we do the fish and chip review, which I keep promising, the verdict. What's your verdict on Weatherby? I like it. It's only a little place. You like it because she's got two bags in her dress. Yeah. So oh no, someone's left their, lost their little Peter Rabbit. Oh. Are you okay, Peter? No, he's not. But they might come back for it. Yeah. Peter's fallen. What are you going to do with it? Put it on there. Put it on the car. It looks then... like it's been a hit and run now, <laughs> doesn't it? I've never seen so many charity shops in such a small place, so if you like your charity shops, Although some of them were a little bit pricey, weren't they? Because mm. it's quite posh. That pub, which somebody said to us, oh, that's old, one of the oldest pubs or best pubs, that were a bit not right good in there. No, it looked good from the outside, so but going, it was we're going a bit to a, modern, yeah, wasn't We're it? going to a proper old pub now, but that's when we've done the fish and chip verdict. Get on with it, you know, see. Oh, gosh. The weather be whaler. Let's do an honest verdict. We've discussed it at length, haven't we? Because we really want to give a fair score. But I was very disappointed. Were you, they, because they're supposed to be good, but they weren't. They were... Let's think about it. Let's do it by thing. By each element. Chips were crap, weren't they? They weren't crap. They were crap, Helen. The chips were crap. They weren't crap. They were just under par. I don't think they were cooked for long enough. They, they weren't were claggy. hard. They were claggy. You know what I mean? They were claggy. Chips were crap. Is that straight, by the way? 
very professional, is it? Uh, chips were claggy. Peas were crap. Claggy. Yeah, what it's just a word. Mean? I don't know. I need my book. Claggy. Pass me my book. Means. Pass me uh, my it book. makes all your mouth stick together. You talk for a minute. The tartar sauce. I got this book. Sorry. You've just told me to talk. 500 words you should know. Go on then, hit me with one. I've got to find a section which is like... Terms of abuse, criticism and mild contempt. The mushy peas were pugnacious. <laughs> they were a bit petulant. I'm only petulant? Doing... <laughs> they were pathological pacadillos. <laughs> And perfidious. <laughs> I don't know what any. They were odious. We're on O now. I'm going backwards. So that's what I thought of them. Pe the peas were crap, and I like a good pea. Mushy pea. I'm not a connoisseur of mushy peas, however, I had a taste, and they were tasteless. They were just no taste. They were just like a mushy, tasteless mush. Yeah. However, <sighs> the curry sauce was very yeah, nice. Yeah, that one nice. Yeah. But I'm not including that. When I asked for curry sauce, the woman uh, asked me, which one did I want? I Traditional know. or Chinese? I Crazy. So I've had the Chinese one because apparently it was more spicy, but it was very tasty. Yeah. And the fish, it were all right. The it was fish nice. Was acceptable. I liked it. It were, but it should be nice, shouldn't it, really? The batter was nice. The batter were nice. It weren't, whoa, that fish is amazing. It were nice. I'll give this a lot of thought. And my score, shall we do them at the same time after three? See if we come up with the same score. Not getting it a score of three, but we'll just say his number after three. Out of ten. Are you ready? Have you thought it? Have I got to pause it? I'm just thinking. Think it through. Oh, God. <laughs> Cogs are turning. I've, I've thought. Have you thought? Yes. So this is out of ten. And we're going to do it after three. What? Do you have to hold your hands up? No, just say Like it. your fingers. Just, are you ready? Do you want to hold your hands up then? Yeah, let's do it like that. It's visual. Do you know what? We what? should have those um, those boards or sort of thing. Do you know with numbers on? Okay. Let... Do you know like they do on? Uh, People will think we're just trying to stretch video out. Yeah. What, it is, what it is, even though yeah. I don't watch that. Yeah, just say, right, you ready? Do you hold fingers then? Get, get your fingers ready. On your marks, get set, go. What you give it? Six. Yeah. I've got five. Why six? Why have you got an extra one than me? You were obviously more happier with it than me. I like the coffee. The coffee, you can't, we're doing a fish and chip review, I not a coffee review. I like the curry. And I like the decor. Okay, that's fair. It was cosy. I, I, yeah. And the staff were nice. I didn't go to the toilet, so I can't tell you about that. But the tartar sauce was just quite The tartar sauce were crap. Chips were crap, peas like were crap, tartar sauce were crap. Let's be honest, the love. The fish were all right. Do you know what I'm comparing it to? What? Whitby's. Oh, price. It cost £32 something for two of us. And two drinks. It was more expensive than Whitby's. And, and, we'd, not, and not we a had patch. a bottle of wine at Whitby's. No, I'm, I don't know how much it comes to in Whitby's. I'm just saying the fish oh. and chips. They were £13 something there. And they're £12. £12.25 in Whitby's. And Whitby's was just far better. Every time we go to Whitby's. So if we, we weren't filming and we just wanted to have fish and chips, we'd go to Whitby's, don't mm. we? Because it's really nice. And we've never had bad fish and chips there. No. We've had them that weren't as quite as good once. But I bet we've been five times to Whitby's. So four out of five. <laughs> We've been five times last week. We're so healthy. And it, we never have fish and chips more than once a week, and most of the time it's once every fortnight. So, I don't. Well, I know you don't, but what, all comments we get, oh, you've had full... It's not, you know, they, they look at his videos and they don't realise that it's like one video a week normally. They're thinking it's every day and it's not. We're not having fish and chips every day. We're not drinking every day. We don't, I mean, we like a drink. We're not going to apologise for that. But uh, it's not as much as what some people think. Mm. In fact, as that gentleman said earlier, he says you look a lot slimmer in real life. So it's camera that's making me look fat. And uh, I've lost two pounds this week anyway. I'll probably just put them all back down, on again. I was going to say, down the back of the sofa yeah, in the back. I've lost two pounds because I've been eating healthily. 
I have my porridge in the morning, I have lots of fruit. Because I'm conscious of a man of my age, you know, your heart and things like that. So I'm having loads of fruit and veg uh, and porridge and I'm doing lots of walking and exercise and stuff like that. Trying to get some weight off. None of this is going to get in. Anyway, we're going to that pub. There's a pub which I talked about, which is called, I can't even remember what it's called. What's it called, that pub? The Binging... Bingley Arms. Is it Bingley? I think it's the Bingley Arms. And it's one of the oldest, I think it claims to be the oldest pub in Britain. We're here at the Bingley Arms, the United Kingdom's oldest inn. But this building is only... This isn't... From this the was built century. after, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, so it's basically a load of old waffle. So what's the priest hole for? Priests used to hide in the priest hall so that Henry Henry VIII or Elizabeth I wouldn't see them. Oh. Do you know the uh, reformation of the monasteries? Yeah. yeah. Dissolution of the, the monasteries. The dissolution, the reformation. <laughs> it's up there. That wow. one. And it's called what? The priest hall? Yeah, the priest used to hide up there. Yeah, but you'd think when they come in to find them, why won't they think to look up there? Who knows? They were a bit rubbish, were well, they? Do you know at Christmas? Yeah. Santa hides up there and then does he it? comes down the chimney yeah, for the kids. I know he does. I know and he does. up there in one of the rooms, there's a, a hole big enough to pass the priest that's hiding a pine. Round the corner, there was a little archway. Right. It's all bricked up now. Can I go down? Yeah. I'm it, all right with my knee. It was, um, it was all bricked up because it had run from. <laughs> <laughs> Underneath here, and it's I'm having to crawl. Oh, really? I'm not going to feel any presence at all, am I? I want to have a little look. Here, come in. I'll be more gracious than you. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, so it's like some old seating. Huh? Are you okay? Can you manage? Yeah. So, has the passageway been all bricked up? Yeah, it was bricked up when they built all the houses. So, this was, you used to be able to sit in here, did they? Yeah, it used to be a little bar. And what's oh. through there? That's where the tunnel went from. Oh. oh. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. You're not going to lock us in, are you? Oh, it's a bit spooky. Yeah. So have you seen anything? I've seen the lady. Weird. Upstairs. Have you? It's not me that's just, not me that's just scenery. <laughs> really? really? Well, we used to work here years ago. We saw the same. We, well, we described exactly the same. Really? And what does she look like? Oh, she was quite tall with hair up in a bun and, and like a black ruffled neck. Yes. Oh, gosh. Right, swans, nobody in the mouth. Show you upstairs. Oh, thank you. That's the opening to the first one. All right. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And your other priest hole is about where that Buddha is. So that's why you get pints through there. <laughs> Look. Look at them. <laughs> They're great. I like the, I like that. The yeah. tapestry. I like that light fitting. Is this the scary room? This used to, so this is an old cast iron oven. Oh, wow. That was in the tap room. Yeah. There was only a few made in Yorkshire. Right. And they actually put that fireplace and the Dutch oven that's in the tap room, an old Dutch oven, it dates back to about 1738 AD. God. Yeah. And you said this is a but bit- There used to be a picture up on this wall, up on here. Right. And you'd be coming in and setting the table up in here. Yeah. You'd be like that. Would you? Constantly felt something. So felt we a presence. changed it all around in lockdown. I said, okay, take that picture down. But what was it, the picture? And the lady was the woman who I saw. It was weird. Oh, gosh. And I don't feel it anymore now in here. That was the Bingley Arms. I bet it's nice meals in there. Mm. Right, so there you go. That was the Bingley Arms, very nice in there. The Bingley Arms, oh, or the God. Priest's Inn, that's what it used to be called, um, hundreds of years ago, has a known history that dates back as far as 953 AD, when Sansom Ellis brewed in the central part of the building. However, evidence suggests that it might even date back to 905 AD, 
and was standing before All Hallows Church, just a few yards away, was built in 950 AD. And it was a popular spot for travelling monks to rest. The inn was on the main route between Kirkstall Abbey and the Abbey of St Mary's in York. So monks would take a break before continuing on their journey to York. The rest house was later used by stagecoach passengers for a meal, with the adjoining buildings being used for stables for weary horses. From around the year 1000, a local court was held at the precinct, uh, with offenders being taken to the pillory across the road opposite the church. I don't know this is going to get on. Isn't it? No. Why? Because that was too boring. Oh, it's not really boring. And there's ghosts in there. Yeah, there's a, a cavalier, every pub. a dog, and an, a tall lady. Or was there a young woman? There's a pub in every pub. There's a pub in every pub. There's a ghost in every pub. Isn't there? Every yeah. pub you go in, have you got a ghost? Yeah. It's funny, though. I've been in more pubs than anybody, and I've never seen a ghost. But I've seen a few spirits. You never see a ghost at a football match, <laughs> do you? You never see you never see a black ghost, do you? That's not racist. You don't, do you? You never see them at football matches. You never see ghosts like dinosaur ghosts, do you? No. They don't exist. It's all don't. it's a waffle. It is. We're gonna go and stay in a haunted house at some point oh, just to no. prove it. Yeah, I mean it's all in your head, isn't it, that make you yeah. scared. I will be cacking in my pants, I tell you. If we go, to I'll have to wear brown trousers. Oh, don't, don't, don't like tall like that. It's minging. Right, anyway. Right, look. Don't look at the screen. Look at the camera. I keep getting told off for that. It's I'm, mainly I'm when I'm filming what, on my phone, people it? say, you look like you're looking away. Yeah. But it's not I'm looking at camera, but the, the lens. Did so you know look. the last one on your own? Yeah, all right. It was really... It's easy for you just to stand there on your high horse criticising me. You don't have to churn out these rants. Anyway, so I hope you've enjoyed that little impromptu video. Uh, I didn't know Helen had the day off. I un forgot. Until yesterday. <laughs> so it was like, where we're going to go? I'm like, I, I don't know. So I had to think of somewhere quick that wasn't too far away. So, um, so a few people had mentioned Weatherby Whaler in my last fish and chip vlog so i thought yeah we'll go to weatherby whaler and we'll go to the original one so that's why we ended up going there uh i've got some amazing videos coming up some great ideas uh so keep tuned make sure you subscribe make sure you like the videos and share them with your friends all right because sharing is caring yeah <laughs> anyway love you all and we'll see you in the next video Sit it. Sit it.